Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to try to decide whether I like myself in warmer blonde or cooler blonde. Gosh, I can't make up my mind. Anyways, uh, I digress. <laughs> I am going to be sharing with you the 10 items, the 10 makeup related items that I would have to buy, have to buy right away if I lost all my makeup. <laughs> So if you are curious as to what a 67-year-old lady with wrinkles and crepey skin would have to buy for makeup, stay tuned. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for joining me. So I know you guys have probably seen this going around YouTube forever, but I just thought it was really cool. I saw um, Mrs. Melissa M. Beauty do it, and I watched her video, and I said, I think I'm going to do the exact same thing. I thought it was a great idea. So anyways, I'll link her channel below, and the whole premise behind this is that if I lost all my makeup, now I'm just talking makeup, I'm not talking skin care, hair care, or anything like that, just makeup, right? If I lost all my makeup, what 10 products would I just have to, have to, have to go out and buy right away? Uh, all of these are basically drugstore, except for one, I think. Most of them are drugstore. All of these are, are products that I actually bought. One I was gifted from a fellow YouTuber, Molly and Fab and Glam, and the other I have bought and loved and was recently totally surprised by getting this as a gift as well from Mary Glitzy Fritzy. So anyways, I'll share all of that with you. So first of all, when I think about makeup, I also think that makeup and sunblock is goes hand in hand. I can't imagine thinking about makeup without thinking about sunblock. And when I think about sunblock, I have to think what is going to be playing nice with my makeup. So for if I was going to walk into the drugstore, right, into the drugstore and get it, it would definitely be my Botanica, and I've talked about this for a long time. This is the 50 SPF. This is the non-greasy Australian gold. You can buy this at, in any drugstore, really, anywhere. Um, so I would definitely buy that. The, However, the scent blocks that I really love, that if I could order, I would definitely get the Color Science, Sun Forgettable, Total Protection. This was gifted to me. And... Uh, originally, I should say, was gifted to me originally, and I recently repurchased or purchased. The other two was the Dermatology, um, Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45, originally also gifted to me, have purchased. I really like it. The one that I haven't purchased was gifted to me is the City Beauty Skin Perfecting Daily Veil, in, veil and I think that's an SPF of like like 39. SPF of 39. So anyways, I mentioned those because I think it goes hand in hand. And since I'm not sun tanning at all, I, I also consider having a little bit cut of color um, on my legs especially. And I haven't done it on my chest yet. Uh, maybe I will, but I have not touched my chest or my face with, my, with um, any kind of self tanner. But um, I recently bought the Body Blur. I had, I think it was, I, I've seen this I had heard or watched two other YouTubers talk about this, and I thought, hmm, I'm going to try it. The most recent was Natalie the Beauty Diva. So I ordered it off of her Amazon link, and I really like it. What I like about this is when it dries, it stays put. The other one that I have liked is the Sally Hansen Water Resistant Air Legs, Airbrush Legs. You can get this at a drugstore anywhere. Uh, but this does transfer, and so I wouldn't wear this with as I discovered, anything super light, where this does not seem to transfer. So drugstore, um, this off of Amazon, I'm not too sure if you could actually get that. And to me, that goes into the category of my sun protection um, because it makes my legs look better, so it prevents me, right? <laughs> sun protection, prevention, prevents me from getting a sunburn. So secondly, if I was thinking about that, I would have to, um, with, and this was a no-brainer for me, because you can go anywhere and buy it, but not only can you go anywhere and buy it, on my skin it really works, and that is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I, I really like the e.l.f. Putty Primer, and I've used this, I think this is my second, maybe third 
tube of this container that I bought. I really like it. It is starting to be well loved and used. And so what I do with this, with this putty primer, is after I've done my skincare, my sunblock, and I let everything kind of sink in, I actually go on this and I pat it into my nose area where I have like, I have really big crater pores. So I pat it in there to kind of close it up a little bit. You do have to make sure you exfoliate your skin and you get everything off your face, especially the sunblock at the end of the day. So my e.l.f. Putty Primer, I love how it fills in my pores on my nose. I love how it looks um, under my makeup. I can put my makeup on and it looks really good and it's so, so stinking affordable. The, um, the, is when it comes to concealers, I actually have a few concealers that I like. So I normally go, and this is sort of, I get it at, um, at you know, Ulta, but it's Benefit. So it wouldn't necessarily be drugstore to me. But my concealer of choice is the industrial tube of the, of the Benefit. Um, when I say this industrial, this thing covers like you wouldn't believe. It's almost gone. I have a couple of different versions of it. Um, that I really like and I had one that has the little uh, the stick that I like under my eye but I think it's in my my um, drawer at work so but benefit the um, Boeing benefit concealers are my favorite the industrial strength or industrial version is my absolute ride or die um, it is it is the one that I use all the time for a drugstore yeah, I'm going to use the Age Rewind, and I have two of them. I have one that's a little bit darker, one that's a little bit lighter. I usually use the lighter one in between, you know, like right around here, and then the darker one out there. I'm very, very careful on concealer under my eyes. I will use it very sparingly. I will never use any of this under my eyes at all. Um, I use that concealer to, you know, conceal red marks or my veins. If I use the Age Rewind, it does nothing to cover my veins it does nothing it's a great concealer for under my eyes that's about it and i use it very very lightly but it would not conceal a pimple at least on me it certainly wouldn't conceal my red veins which i have a ton of so i do like that and one thing that i use an awful lot is um contour now my hands down i have a couple of different contours i have the smashbox which I really like and you can see I've used um, I've hit pan on one of them and then it's got a highlighter and then it's got like sort of a bronzer in the middle so I really like that but the one that I use the most is my NYX NYX Wonder Stick now the Wonder Stick has it has on one end it has a contour right and I think I have the Universal so you could get a darker one if you want You see it's almost down again on one end it has the contour and then on the other end it has and I have a ton ton more on the highlighter I don't I don't tend to I probably should I don't tend to use a lot of highlighter um, every now and then I do use highlighter but in general I don't tend to use a lot of highlighter but this is the one that I really like and you can get this anywhere Walgreens anywhere um, I think that uh, even Walmart uh, target any way you want so I do like that a lot my contour stick now my foundation if I had to just buy one and I don't have the the boots number seven in here but if I had to buy one and go in a drugstore I would get the boots number seven however the boots number seven oxidizes on me after a while so I have to be really careful with it but my foundation of choice in general would be my Estee Lauder Double Wear. So if I had to pick one and I could hit the mall and I could hit, you know, Macy's or Sephora, Ulta, this is, this is what I'd end up getting. I would end up getting the Estee Lauder. My second high-end foundation, I actually have it on today, and a lot of times on my videos I do wear it, is my Lancome. I really like those two high-end foundations. Those are my two favorite. I, I am tossed between my Lancome and my, my Estee Lauder as to which one I like. The Lancome, I think, is a lighter color on me, where my Estee Lauder, I probably should try a lighter color. This is the um, 3C2 Pebble. So I definitely definitely am a foundation girl and then a blush 
I'm, you know, I'm not super fussy on blushes, but the one that I really like is their ColourPop. I do have a couple of, I have some of the Milani that you can get in the drugstore. So for me, I would have to have a blush if it was drugstore. I would, I would just get the Milani blushes. They have some beautiful colors. I think I have three of them. But the blush that I'm using a lot is the ColourPop. And I like this one. This was gifted to me from Marlene Fab and Glam. And it is in the color, it's Vogue. And it's just my perfect, my perfect color. I really like it a lot. It just is perfect. I don't know if you can see it on my hand or not, but it's it's a perfect shade for me. I like it. Now, with that blush, um, I normally will do a setting spray, and I usually do it in, in layers, basically. So usually after I do my contour and my blush, I'll put a setting spray on. So typically, I'm going to be using the Dewy Finish, right? This is NYX Dewy Finish. Or I use the, Mor the, the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I like them both a lot. I've repeatedly bought them both a lot. So um, I don't know which one I like better, but I would definitely get a setting spray to hold everything in place. Then I get to, uh, after I do my setting spray, I, I will then look at maybe doing a powder. And the only powder that I have been using that I have really, really liked is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. I like this. I bought this in CVS. It is really reasonable. And I I just think it, it kind of gives me a really nice little finish. It's it's a, a fine, fine, I don't know, blurring. It's just a really nice little finish. I love this and I am not a powder gal at all. I don't wear a lot of powders, but I really like that powder. The other thing that I, I keep bending over to grab my stuff, sorry. But um, this is, I've been using the, the um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer for quite a while. And I also had used a couple of their other, their other products, but I keep going back to the Butter Bronzer. If I feel that my makeup, especially in the summertime, is just too light, no, not only do I love this, the smell of this, because it does have a little coconut tropical smell, um, but I just really like it. I will just take it in a big fluffy brush and I'll just ponce it all over my face. I think this is really, really nice. So I, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And that brings me to, where am I? Uh, mascara and eyeliner. So I'm going to say mascara, eyeliner, and eyebrow pencils or whatever all in one because they all kind of go, go together. Uh, my mascara is what I, what I would grab because it would be the easiest to get uh, would be probably the Lash, Lash Princess. Um, I have used the, the uh, Maybelline a Sky High. I've used a number of different mascaras. I keep coming back to this. There's so many that are good, but this really beats a lot of them. And the price is right. So this is Essence. Uh, this is the one in purple, Lash Princess. I've used a ton of different eyebrows, eyebrow pencils. And I know everyone's going to have their own take on it. But this is e.l.f. And, oh my gosh, I, I don't know, Instant Lift. It's got a spoolie on one end and then you can twist it. It's not like a hard pencil. It's sort of buttery in a way, which I really like. So you can draw on your brows. I like this one a lot. What is it? Three bucks. I'm not too sure. So I wear that a lot. And then for my sort of like my setting of my brows, I use the Essence. And this is Make Me Brow. And I just kind of like use this. I, I comb it over after I've done my brows. And I just, you know it kind of sets it, which I really like. So if I was to buy a eyebrow pencil, I would probably buy the NYX. Um, they've got some waterproof pencils, eyeliners, I should say, or I would buy the, um, the Urban Decay if I was in a store um, that I had, you know, the high end, I would get the Urban Decay or I would get the NYX. They've got several different colors of, of what I think really great eyeliners. That's what I would end up doing. Now, my eyeshadow is, I, without a doubt, and this is what I was totally surprised about. I said in my other video that it was, I had hit pan on my favorite, my favorite palette. And so uh, this, this is not something you can buy in a drugstore. But if I were to buy one palette, I would most 
definitely just one palette it would be for me the Viseart Amethyst palette and I was looking for this a number of you have made recommendations because every time I tried to replace it I couldn't find a replacement but I, end, I ended up, um, Mary Glitzy Fritzy contacted me. She says, you know what? I have that palette. I've used it a couple of times. If you want it, you're more than welcome to it. And I said, oh, yes, yes, yes. So Mary sent me this. And uh, I'll, I'll share with you some of the other stuff that she sent me as well. But this is without a doubt my hands down favorite, favorite palette. I can do so many looks. I know it's purples and pinks and mauves, but I can create so many looks out of this palette. I absolutely love it. I got it from uh, from Mary Glitzy Fritzy, and I just think that was that was amazing. So if I yeah, so if it was a drugstore, I would get the Essence Daily Dose of Love eyeshadow palette. Now I've worn this a number of times. It's a little bit messy. But it's got a good amount of colors in here that I like. It's got an all over for the uh, the lid, the bone. It's got a darker one that I can build up in my crease. It's got some pretty pinks. It's got some little glossy looks, um, satin looks. So for the money, Essence, yes, I would definitely get that. So I know that was more than 10 in the sense of the, the different products I mentioned, but it's all 10 of the type of products, meaning foundation, concealer, and all that. So sunblock goes hands down, obviously, with it. And um, yeah, my eyeshadow. So I just thought this was a fun tag. If you are a content creator, feel free to do it. I stole it from Mrs. Melissa M. Beauty. She took it from somebody else. Um, and I just think it's a, it's a fun tag if you really have to think about it, if you lost all everything and you had no makeup What ten? What ten would you have to get right away? And with these tens I could have a complete look and I'd be fine So anyways, thank you so much for watching and on my head for those of you that are going to ask This is a, a wig that I bought gosh I want to say one of this is one of my mm, favorites this is Ignite. I can't remember. John Renault's Ignite. I can't remember when I got this, but I have owned this probably for at least maybe two years, if not longer. But um, no, probably a year and a half now. I can't remember. But this is one of my favorite wigs. I've worn this out and about. This is, to me, a workhorse wig. It survives the wind. I've been out on the beach with it. Um, Jay and I went out for our anniversary dinner, and we went out and walked the beach afterwards, and it was like high winds, and I came in, and my hair looked perfect. <laughs> so it really, um, it, it survives a lot and, and, uh, and I'm surprised that it's held up. I'm just now debating on the color because this is shaded praline, one of my John Renault colors, but I've been going more into some of the darker mixes and now I'm looking at the really bright blondes. Like I think this might be too warm, um, as maybe not appropriate or not appropriate, but as maybe not my best look. So anyways, um, that's the scoop guys thank you so much for watching and i will catch you in my next video bye